Andrew, Mary Ann, Gina, Mara, Robert, the entire esteemed family of Chairman Dr. Chris Kirubi, all the friends of Chris Kirubi who have gathered here, who include all the esteemed leaders of our government, accept my personal condolences and accept the condolences of the entire fraternity of Kenya Association of Manufacturers and the Advisory Council of the Kenya Association of Manufacturers where we served with Chairman Dr. Chris Kirubi. And I'm very pleased to say that Mary Ann Kirubi has now joined as a director in the footsteps of that as a director of Kenya Association of Manufacturers. We bring our condolences and with great sadness, with real great sadness, I stand before you today to celebrate an iconic life. Chairman was a great friend. We had a special bond. He was an astute leader. By saying he was a great friend, he invited me to take a ring seat, a ringside seat in his life. He was a confidant, he was my mentor, and for those of you who may not know, I served as managing director in his businesses for 10 years, close to 10 years. My fondest memory of Chairman Kirubi as a friend was a trip we took to Mexico where he went to receive an award that displayed his excellence of the number one best manufacturer of big products in the entire world, and that was Hako Industries back in 2010. The impact he made, the address he made, will be, I will not have enough time to be able to explain to the audience here today. But even as we grieve, let us hang on to the memories of him, the memories of Chairman, ranging from his amazing and charismatic character, infectious laughter, and astute leadership. I'm a graduate of his Institute of Advanced Hindsight and Institute of Advanced Foresight. Chairman was full of magic and chairman was full of logic. As a leader, he taught me the art of business. And that art of business, which he continued to teach even as we were in KM, he would always say, Polycarp, treat customers as human beings with needs, not human beings with wallets. If you do that, your business will grow. Polycarp, please remember that business is a simple cycle. From the time you put a shilling to buy raw materials and packaging and convert it to finished goods to the time you sell you recover that shilling back with a profit. He was so simple in his teaching. Those are lessons I continue to apply today in my corporate life. Dr. Kirubi was a trailblazer in shaping Kenya's manufacturing sector and the business community in its entirety. Many within the manufacturing sector echoed of his outspoken, fearless character during his term as the chairman of Kenya Association of Manufacturers. He was a great partner to the Right Honorable Raila Odinga when the Grand Coalition government started the Prime Minister's Roundtable. And you can attest to his candor and his fearlessness in those sessions. We can also attest to his commitment to make this country better as witnessed by his dedicated mentorship and contribution, which we have heard about in all the tributes which were paid at home. 
Dr. Kirubi served as the chairman of the association between 1999 and 2000, a time when he led the manufacturing sector in advocating for the policies that created a very conducive business environment for local industries to thrive. He was particularly, specifically, he achieved several things in his tenure. Number one, he defended local manufacturers against onslaught of cheap imports and the impact of liberalization of the economy and advocating for a level playing field. He decried the effect of counterfeits to the health of Kenyans and the impact of the vice on genuine locally manufactured products. Many of you would know that I eventually ended up becoming the chairman of the Kenya Association of, uh, becoming chairman of the Kenya Anti-Counterfeit Agency when it was set up, and that was thanks to Dr. Kirubi. He also advocated for the diversification of our power generation mix, following a power rationing program that disrupted manufacturing processes and threatened the closure of industries and consequently job losses. Furthermore, he continued to support the association even after his term as chair came to an end. As an advisor and through investments in local manufacturing, I'm aware through Filias Wakiaga that he even found time to attend a board meeting and an advisory council meeting in the company of Marianne not too long ago. This country is indebted to Dr. Kirubi in many ways. And individuals such as myself are indebted to Dr. Kirubi in many ways. He trusted us. He trusted me before I could trust myself. He built me. We worked together. He taught me. He was my mentor. He was my friend. He was my brother. And I bring sincere condolences to the family. My children, Kamau, Mwihaki, Shiro, and the mother, Catherine, they all called chairman, Uncle Chairman Chris Kirubi. And we grieve with you. We cry with you. We shed tears with you. And the love he extended to us, we shall continue to extend to you. When I was done in my career and I moved on to other things, Chris continued to bless me. And as we lose him, perhaps it may be worthwhile to let you know how many things we did with Chris. When Nairobi was, when it was impossible to do business in Nairobi, it was Chris who came up with the idea of making sure that Nairobi goes back to the national government politically. It was Kirubi who designed the Sonko Igathe ticket. <laughs> and we were very glad with that design. And he gave me to execute. And we did not fail. But that mission did not succeed as it was intended. But Dr. Kirubi was unique in his thinking. Let me close by saying he was a genius by birth. A tough guy by instinct. An elegant man by taste. And the most humble, amazing human being I've ever encountered. I'm distinctly honored and highly privileged to have known Dr. Chairman Christopher Kirubi. Thank you very much. Uh, next, I'll uh, bring to the podium somebody who doesn't need any introduction from International House Limited. Anybody who went to see Chris Kirubi and knows Aisha. Aisha, please come. Assalamu alaikum. Familia ya marehemu, watoto wake, wajukuu zake, ndugu zake, watoto wa ndugu zake na jamaa wote wa marehemu na wapapole tena. 
wageni mashuhuri kutoka serikali